PAC Dent proudly presents the IVAC, an irrigation system based on the three most important concepts established by the endodontic science for root canal irrigation and disinfection. Concomitant irrigation, negative pressure, and ultrasonic activation. The IVAC system consists of a tapered 0.35 and a 0.50 diameter polymer cannula, self-threaded to a piezo ultrasonic connector. The connector will be coupled to a piezoelectric ultrasonic handpiece, providing vibrations to the IVAC cannula and delivering concomitant irrigation from the reservoir. The low vac suction will be connected to the IVAC providing suction at the tip of the cannula. The vibration will help carry the irrigation fluid throughout the canal extension, alongside the external cannula surface, and be recollected via the apical opening. The piezo ultrasonic connector has a passageway that provides a single continuous flow path for delivering fluid to the pulp chamber and root canal, projecting the liquid at the cannula's external surface. The other end of the IVAC will be connected to the evacuation tubing, which will create negative pressure powered by the standard evacuation equipment. The final result is a clean canal, without the risk of extrusion. The system features continuous flush irrigation providing an interrupted supply of fresh solution during the procedure. Using a polymer cannula, the IVAC also has the advantage of ultrasonically activating the solution without the risk of fracture, as the metallic inserts present when using the PUI. Furthermore, by using a polymer cannula, the chances of separating the cannula within the canal are low, if any. The IVAC is a true negative pressure irrigation system. The fluid level inside the canal will be controlled by the apical position of the IVAC cannula. The negative pressure irrigation will determine controlled irrigant flush, avoiding apical extrusion of the liquid. If the operator does not have a piezo unit with a reservoir, or if the unit is built in in the equipment, a syringe and cannula irrigation can be used to drip the irrigant in the pulp chamber. The IVAC can be used with the two most common types of piezo units, the S-type and the E-type. The S-type connector comes in the intro kit, while the E-type connector is offered separately. The suggested protocol for the final irrigation with the IVAC uses sodium hypochlorite 2%, EDTA, and distilled water. After finalizing the instrumentation, activate and flush with the IVAC for 3 minutes with sodium hypochlorite. Next, change the bottle to EDTA, and activate and flush for 1 minute. Change the bottle to sodium hypochlorite and activate and flush for 3 minutes. Finally, change the bottle to distilled water, activate and flush for 1 minute. The technique guide can be found inside the intro kit box. On the front page is information on installing the IVAC and adjusting the ultrasonic unit. The back page shows the suggested protocol for final irrigation using the piezo unit reservoir, or irrigation using a syringe and cannula. After finishing with your patient, proceed with purging the equipment. Remove the sodium hypochlorite bottle. Install the distilled water bottle. Touch the buttons with the faucet and bottle icon simultaneously. The button with the bottle icon will start flashing, indicating that the flushing mode is activated. Place the handpiece next to a plastic cup or container. Press the pedal once. Wait until automatic shutdown. Thanks for watching this video. For more information, access packdent.com.